Hello, how are you? Hope everyone's having an amazing day. Welcome back to Lem's World. Now today we're going to do something a bit different than the other past two videos that I've done. Uh, just say if you haven't checked out the other two videos, uh, the links will be posted below. Okay, so today we're going to be doing a reaction video. And the reaction and the video that we're going to be doing a reaction to is the 10 most venomous spiders in the world. Now, I don't know about you, but I'm not all that bothered about spiders. Mostly because I live in the UK and spiders in the UK can't hurt you. Uh, yeah, they can give you a bit of a bite and it might itch a bit. You might feel a bit groggy. But other than that, that's it. It literally does nothing to you. I mean, compared to these bad boys, which I imagine is going to be in this, in this. Uh, these bad boys are going to be, well, they're going to be bad boys, aren't they? Ten of the world's most venomous spiders. The world's venomous spiders. Wow. So, let's crack on and get on with this. Right, I'm ready. Are you ready? Let's go. such a shy creature be dangerous? Well, the six-eyed sand spider doesn't like to be the center of attention. This predator lives in southern Africa and prefers to hide under the rocks or between the roots of trees, but apparently this isn't enough for him, because he either sprinkles himself with sand, which adheres to the bristles on his body, or completely buries himself in it. Is he really that afraid of people? Believe us, the six-eyed sand spider is not afraid of anyone. He just prefers to operate quietly and discreetly, like a professional killer. According to toxicological studies, his venom is recognized as the most dangerous on record. Like sulfuric acid, it destroys the body cells and blood vessels, causing... Destroys the body cells. This guy's venom, this guy's venom is... Like acid, acid. That's that's crazy. That's crazy. Buries itself in the sand and all. You don't you don't want to be walking across no sand. No, 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 no. One of these has all your toe and starts dissolving your foot. Your foot. Nope. Mm mm. And the cherry on top is that there's no antidote for the venom of this spider. But there is also good news. This species is very shy. There are only two known cases of attacks on a person. And those are not even officially registered. So just don't bother this little... Oh, that's a good thing. Bless him. Bless him. He's shy. He's shy. And unofficially, only ever bit two people. That's that's not too bad. That's not too bad at all, really, is it? Guy. Cyclocosmia. An abdomen shaped like an antique stamp is something really special, even for a spider. When nature does something so sophisticated, you should expect some trouble. This stamp must be covered with some deadly ink. Most often, bizarre shapes don't conceal a threat, but this is an exceptional case. This spider with the poetic name of Cyclocosmia needs this particular chitin plate for protection, not for attacking. This spider lives in small burrows and hates uninvited guests. To protect himself from them, he uses this lid, strengthened by a system of ribs and grooves, reminiscent of an ancient stamp. By the way, there's something ancient about this animal. It's considered the oldest spider on Earth. Even though this beautiful creature... He's got a stamp. It, it's weird. It's weird, but... Protection. And one of the... One of the oldest spiders. That's old. So, why didn't we tell you about him? So that you could distinguish him from the next similar spider from our compilation. Ah. He's a real serial killer. The Sydney Funnel Web Spider. I've heard of this. I've, I, I have heard of the Funnel Web. As you probably understand from the name, he lives in Australia. 
Well, obviously, his grim appearance is not just for protection either. This guy is actually evil and only wants to hurt you. Since the sand spider almost never attacks humans, it's the Sydney funnel-like spider that the Guinness Book of World Records ranked as the most venomous spider in the world. He doesn't need a reason to attack. He'll just do it because he can. First, he'll... Doesn't need a reason to attack you. Doesn't need an actual reason to bite you. No, like disturbing it or anything like that. Yeah, for spiders and things like that. Yeah, that's a valid reason. You've you've bothered it. But you're just walking down the street in Sydney. Come across one of these spiders and it could just think to itself, I'm going to bite you on... Well, wherever it wants, really. Wherever it feels like, I'm going to bite you. And I'm probably going to kill you. Because I can. Why not? Stand on his hind legs and show off his fangs. They're so strong and long that they can even break through a nail. If you don't manage to somehow leave in time, he is going to bite you one time and then another time and again. Yes, this bloodthirsty monster attacks more than once. Its venom is deadly, so you should get some medical help immediately. It is also possible that the spider will go to the hospital with you. He will attach to your body until you shake him off. We can only say one thing. Me. He's going to go to the hospital with you. He's coming with you. He's thinking to himself, I beat you, I beat you again, and I beat you a third time, but now you're going to hospital to get help, so you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to come with you. And I'm probably going to bite you at the hospital as well. So they're going to give you treatment. And then I'm going to bite you again. That's just. Yeah. Just why? Brazilian wandering spider. This monster may well compete with its relative from Sydney. In 2010, he was also listed in the Guinness Book of World Records as one of the most venomous spiders in the world. This is the Brazilian wandering spider. The name itself doesn't promise anything good, right? Where does he wander? And what for? We've got some good news and some bad news. The good news is that he doesn't attack first. The bad news is that he never really stays at home and likes to climb into houses, hide in closets and among your belongings. He has no respect for privacy whatsoever, so if you found him sleeping in his shoebox and you disturb him, you will be punished with a bite. Besides people, this spider likes to eat bananas, so take a closer look when you buy some at the store. The poison causes loss of muscle control, followed by respiratory failure, which leads to paralysis and in 85% of cases, to heart failure. However, there is an effective antidote, so the main thing is get him to the hospital on time. This guy... Well, this is not as aggressive as, well, like they said, his Australian cousin. Um, we won't just bite you for the hell of it. Only bite you if you start it. But for you starting it, it's disturbing him. Which I suppose is quite okay for them, I suppose. But... No. No. And 85% of the time... You're going to have a heart failure. 85, 85%. 85%. Wow. 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 <sighs> Crazy. Brown or a close spider? This six eyed creature is common in the east of the United States. At least this one's smaller. Hey. However, he's not easy to find, even though his legs are pretty large compared to his body. He's only 6 to 20 millimeters long, but you'd better try to find him right away. A supposedly painless bite from a brown recluse spider may go unnoticed, but the consequences will be extremely unpleasant. This spider is considered one of the most venomous members of its family. The enzymes that make up its poison cause tissue necrosis. It develops gradually, and if you don't seek help in time, the wound may May reach 25 centimeters in diameter. In this case, healing takes up to six. Wow. Wow.
Wow. So most of the time you don't even feel it. If he's beat you, you don't feel it. And if you leave it long enough, yeah, bad. Months, and if the subcutaneous tissue is affected, full recovery can take three years. If you live in the area where this... Three years! Three years! To fully... Sort of... Oh, kid. No. No, 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 no. No. Not going to happen. Not going to happen. Ida lives and don't want to spend much time on sick leave. Carefully check your clothes, shoes, and mm -hmm. bed. These are the most popular hiding places among these spiders. Wolf spider. We've seen a lot of terrifying monsters. But what about a wolf spider? Does he have huge fangs or likes howling at the moon at night? <laughs> All over the world. However, there is no need to worry too much about it. The bites of most wolf spiders are not that dangerous, except for tropical species. Their venom can cause prolonged pain, swelling, dizziness, elevated heart rate, and nausea. In this case, go and see a doctor, unless you're caught by the whole pack. Gooty Sapphire Ornamenta. Ooh. Thanks to this video, we now know that appearances can be deceiving. Look at this stunning creature. It's a genuine work of art. How can anyone think that it's dangerous? Meanwhile, with his appearance, the Gooty Sapphire Ornamental is trying to convince you not to mess with him. If you have well, misinterpreted yeah. the meaning of the color of this brightest member of the tarantula family, then at least his sign should alert you. The yeah. lifespan of this spider reaches 16 or even 17 centimeters. Okay, we've heard enough to stay away from him, but he's also a skilled athlete. He's strong, fast, and jumps really high. Oh, and there's more. This spider has jumps. the most dangerous venom among all... Jumps. He jumps. He actually jumps. A tarantula. A big fucking tarantula. Jumps. Yeah. Get that one amazing all, to be honest with you. Tarantulas. The bite causes severe pain, muscle cramps, and prolonged weakness. Symptoms continue for two or three weeks, although they can suddenly recur over several months. So, it is better to admire this spider. It bites you. You get sorted. Takes a few weeks, get sorted, but then it can come back again. That's crazy. From afar. But you didn't plan to come close anyway, did you? Nope. Black nope. Widow nope. Spider. Oh, everyone's heard of Black Widow spiders. You were probably expecting to see the most famous venomous spider, right? It's time to talk about the mm. Ultradectus. That's the name of a genus of spiders commonly known as true widows. Let's start true with the, widows. And the most venomous one, the black widow. The menacing image of this predator is so well known that when you see a black spider with a red hourglass pattern on its back, you'll try to run away immediately. And you'll yep. do the right thing. Yep. These little spiders have an unusually powerful venom. The neurotoxin of which causes latrodectism. For children and old people, it's deadly. But even an adult may not survive the consequences of a bite. In only half an hour, the victim starts experiencing incredibly severe pain in the limbs, which then reaches the muscles of the core, chest, and abdomen. Severe cramps, panic, and difficulty breathing follow the pain. The worst part is that there's no effective ways to relieve the symptoms, and they last for at least 12 hours. Wow. 
12 hours. 12 hours. That's a long time Being, to be in pain. Any pain, really. But one caused by a black, well, a spider. 12 hours of suffering. 12 hours. <sighs> Oh. Unfortunately, the genus of the Latrodectus has another infamous member. For example, the Brown Widow, also known as the Brown Button Spider, is the younger brother of the Black Widow. He oh. is <laughs> little brother. And luckily, is not so dangerous to humans. No, the that's right. The Brown Widow's toxin is usually limited to the bite area and surrounding tissues, and doesn't extend to the whole body. However, this happens only because the Button Spider can't inject enough poison. Hopefully. Evolution won't give him a hand. Speaking of abilities, did you know that the Brown Widow is also... That's good. He can't eject enough venom. So, like what we're saying is, is if he could inject enough venom, then it would be dangerous. As it's big brother. Yeah, I agree with him. Let's hope that Evolution doesn't decide to give it a... Um, shot of steroids and get it to be able to inject more venom. This toxin is usually limited to the bite area and surrounding tissues. It doesn't extend to the whole body. However, this happens only because the button spider can't inject enough poison. Hopefully, evolution won't give him a hand. Speaking of abilities, did you know that the brown widow is also a superhero? <laughs> In the animated show The Venture Brothers, the Brown Widow has the same powers as Marvel Spider Man, and it also lives in New York. In reality, the Latrodectus geometricus is found in South Africa, the USA, Southern Europe, and Japan. Scientists believe that he's forcing out his more dangerous black relative. This is obviously great, but it would be better if these guys left the Earth altogether, don't you think? Red Widow. Well. However, even if this happens, we will still have to worry about the other members of Electrodectus genus. Lurking in the shadow of his more famous relatives is a less studied but no less unpleasant spider, the Red Widow. In this case, nature has been nicer to us. You can only meet this creature in Peninsula, Florida, among the sand dunes oh. dominated by sand pines. But who knows? Only in one little specific place. Habitat. So far, he's not shown such intentions, and he rarely comes into contact with people. There's not a single bite record of the spider registered <laughs> in medical books. However, studies have shown that it is venomous, albeit five times less toxic than a brown widow, but it will still be enough to ruin your day. In addition, a character from the Marvel Universe bears the name of this eight-legged animal, and they wouldn't name a superhero after some weakling, would they? Whoa. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, that was, uh... Yeah, yeah, that was good. That was that was good. Some in there, um, you know, who you don't really want to meet ever. Um, wandering spider, definitely don't want to meet one of them. Uh, definitely, definitely don't want to meet the Sydney Funnel Web. It, it, that that gate will just bite you for the for the fun of it. Really, just think, oh, I'll, I'll bite you. I'll buy you. Yeah, I don't really want to meet any of them, to be honest with you. To be fair, I really don't. Okay, so uh, if you like this video, like. Uh, don't forget, if you're new to me channel, please hit the subscribe button. Don't forget to hit the bell and you'll be notified every single time I post a new video. And that'll be amazing. Leave your comments below on what you think. Uh, and if you know anything about uh, anything different about spiders or anything or any spiders that was mentioned in the video that is fine of course as always the link to this video will be in the description underneath uh, and yeah be good be safe and we'll see you next time on Lem's World yep if you enjoyed that video uh, don't forget, hit like, hit subscribe, 
and don't forget to hit the bell uh, so you're notified every time I upload a new video and yeah leave your comments below uh, let me see anything that you'd like me to react to um, ghosts other animals anything like that that's fine uh, and we'll see you again next time on Lem's World.